Hello, my name is Sam. I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, and I'm an educator. And today I'm going to read for you Shadow by Robbie H. Harris. Hmm. Have you ever seen your shadow? What makes your shadow? Is it there all the time? Let's read the story. Before we do, at the end of the story, you'll need an object of some sort and a light source. It could be a torch, it could be a lamp, whatever you have at home. So here we go, shadow. <gasps> Let's see what's going to happen. <gasps> Look! Look at that! It's big, it's really big. It's too big. It's bigger than me. So if I tiptoe behind it, it won't see me. Wow, it's tiptoeing too. Bet if I run away from it, it won't get me. Whoa, it's running too. Oh my goodness, I'd better hide behind this tree so it can't find me. I wonder if it's hiding too. I think I'll take a little peek. I think I'll wave at it. <gasps> Look, it's waving at me. What if I twirl around? What if I swirl around? Wow, it's twirling with me. It's swirling with me. Look at all the leaves that are swirling. What, what season do you think it is? Hmm, could it be summer? I don't think so. Maybe it's autumn or fall. Lots of leaves swirling around. Hey, let's wiggle our hips, stomp our feet, spin so fast it makes us dizzy. Uh-oh. The clouds are sliding over the sun. The clouds are turning grey. Look what's happening to the shadow. Oh no, it's disappearing. It's barely there at all. No, no, I don't want it to go. Okay, if I make a wish, maybe it will stay. If I throw it a kiss, maybe it won't go away. Oh, I can't see it anymore. It's gone. What was making the shadow? The day is over. I have to go home. I bet it's going home too. Maybe it will come back for supper. Supper is another word for dinner time. Supper time's over and it hasn't come back. Bath time's over and it still hasn't come back. I didn't know I would miss it so much. Oh look, it's back. It's here. It came back to see me. What's making this shadow? In the daytime, it was the sun. But the sun's gone now. So what's making this shadow? Outside the window. I just yawned, it yawned too. I'm tired, it must be tired too. And when I fell as fall asleep, I bet it will too. But now something else is making the shadow. The lamp next to his bed is making the shadow. When he turns off his lamp, I think the shadow will disappear. So that gave me an idea that we could make a shadow. Shadows are really interesting. This is best done outside. You could get some toys and you could set them outside. So what I've got here is I've got my lamp. I'm putting it on. I'm just going to tip it down. And I have here a small bird. There's my bird. And as you can see, there's only a little bit of shadow because if this was the sun, then the sun is overhead and it's shining down on my bird. So it creates a small shadow. But when the sun is rising or setting, it creates a longer shadow. Can you see my shadow changing? It is getting longer. And then so we can pretend this is the morning and there's a long shadow like in the story. 
and then lunchtime comes and the shadow is shorter and then the sun starts to travel across the other side of the sky and it gets longer again. You could line up a whole load of toys in your garden and see what sort of shadow they make and then go back and visit them throughout the day and see how they're changing. This is my bear. Next to no shadow. And now there's a much larger shadow. The shadow is actually bigger than my bear now. And then back to midday and then longer again. I'd like you to get some toys out and play with shadows and leave them there all day. Have a look at them in the morning, have a look at them at around lunchtime and have a look at them at the end of the day and see how your shadow has changed. Take care. Goodbye. Be nice.